Hello, my name is Štěpán Stenchlák and in this video I will demonstrate the demo software for effortless modeling of data schemas from the specified domain ontology. Our goal is to ease the process of modeling those schemas such as XML, JSON or CSV and automatically generate technical specifications, diagrams and examples for them. We are also planning to connect parties who use different technologies, for example, one stakeholder may want to publish its data in XML format, whether the other supports only CSV. Typically, you would need to understand the semantics of both formats and then create a transformer. This could be covered by our software. Let's have a look at the current state of the development. We want to model JSON and XML schema for tourist destinations. As we already said, we need an existing ontology. You can currently see it on the screen in Virtuoso software. First, we need to create a data specification, which is basically a project containing a set of data structures expressing the same data in different serializations, such as XML and JSON, or legacy XML and newer version. Inside the specification, a new schema needs to be created, which will get us to the modeling tool. We need to start with schema root. All we need is to search the required class, this is the simplest scenario that can be made and we can already see a schema. There is an XML and there is JSON. The root node here represents the corresponding class from the domain ontology. Let's add nested structures. Because the application knows the ontology, it shows us only relevant attributes and associations that we can add. We can also add some association from its parent element, which is a public place. I want to apologize here. Some titles are only in the local language, but that shouldn't be an obstacle. We can continue adding nested attributes, change labels and descriptions until we create a desired schema. To avoid repetition, we can reuse other specifications. Here we have already created a specification for contact information and we can reference the schema from our tourist destination. This approach allows us to create simpler and more specific schemas and combine them into larger ones. In our future work, we want to address the handling of changes across different data specifications in a way that schemas will be maintainable over time, making the updates manageable. We are back on the main page of the specification, where is the schema we have created. We can create a single tree for both XML and JSON schemas, but it's also possible to create a slightly different version for XML, as you can see on the screen. So there we have it, and we can generate the documentation and final schemas. Because this is still a demo software, only the zip file is available for right now. Inside, you can find technical specifications and generated schemas. Examples and data transformations will be added in the future. Thank you.